Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the podcast. I had a lot of fun with the last uh, amp video, the three things to do while waiting. I thought we could carry on in case I didn't make my point. Amp's not going anywhere right now, at least not in the sustained, steady growth that it will see when it starts to get traction, when it's implemented, when the partnerships kick off. Not speculative pump and dumps, but meaningful organic growth. And it's most likely in your long-term wallet. It is in mine. Long-term are my untouchables. The only thing I do with them is put in capital that I earn from my short-term wallets. If you don't have two wallets, I recommend that you do. But this is not financial advice. Got to say that. Long-term wallet. Don't worry about that one. Don't worry about don't worry about the long term. It's going to take care of itself if it is filled with foundation tokens, amp, scale, v chain, etc. Don't worry about that one. It's going to be fine. Second wallet, my second wallet is filled with my speculative investments. This is the one I use to grow my long terms without investing my own capital. It has worked out well for me thus far, but be advised, it is work. It's effort. <laughs> or you can just watch our channel from time to time and let us do the work for you. It's a labor of love. Happy to do it. With that being said, here are three more things, three you can do while you wait for AMP to take off. We are still months away from implementation with any of the major partners. Sheets is still cooking. Income still cooking. They will get it out in front of people, but not quite yet. Tyler is making the rounds and is talking up a lot of new partnerships and opportunity. Flexa International, but still, talking about it and doing it are radically different things. And although I believe every word he says about the upcoming goodness, it's not there yet. And there is no reason to let your capital stagnate without taking advantage of what the market is offering to help you grow your AMP with other people's money. We are discussing three more things you can do while you wait for AMP today right after this. All right. So one of the things you can be doing is called audio. The signs were there on this one. And we discussed it well during our live stream last week, week before. DTA has been doing our RTA for us. And he gets to pick what he likes, but he also takes a look at a couple at my request. One of those was called audio. If you go and take a look at the seven-day or 30-day chart, you might see why we were pushing this one. DTA nailed it on his technical analysis. And if you took us seriously, you did well. You did very well. They don't all have to be moonshots. And in today's market, a 2X is a huge victory. Audio was a 2X plus, and that is a victory with an end zone celebration and a big spiking of the ball. You know what? This one was a touchdown with a taunting penalty. I hate to use uh, NFL metaphors, but the season is getting, re getting ready to kick off, and I am a big fan. Audio fell off, of course. Anything that goes that high that fast has a tendency to go down just as fast. But even during the fall off, it recovered nicely. I really liked this one for the potential, and I still liked it. I liked it a lot more. I liked it a lot more at $1.60. Just putting that out there. It's one to keep an eye on. And for what it's worth, their product is quite good if you are a music fan and want to see what blockchain delivery looks like. Do yourself a favor, do some diligence, see if you like it. Next up in things you can do while waiting for AMP is called REN. We haven't done a video on REN yet. And that one is, it's tough to sell. So we probably, uh, you know what, we'll, we'll get to it. It's not because I don't like it, but because it isn't terribly exciting. They are doing great work. And the long-term potential on this one is huge. But it is a standalone, and there are very few standalones I put into my long-term wallet. I was late to the game into Ren, and sadly, I bought it in April. 
So to say I was disappointed would be an understand understatement. But I kept DCAing it and went heavy last month, and she hasn't disappointed me. Multi-chain DeFi is the future, and Ren is making that possible. As the DeFi expands, as more players come to the table, Ren is eliminating some of the single-chain tribalism. As a long-term investor in token-based ecosystems, I love that they are making it possible for individual assets to exist in many locations on the DeFi. It took a pummeling along with the rest of the market, but she is pulling back and doing it in a big way. 2x since July. Again, I recognize that this is not an exciting product from a sales standpoint, but it is a solid product and they have an excellent team. Strongly recommend you do some diligence on this one as well. Lastly, number three. Of the three more things you can do while you wait for AMP, I give you Polymath. We did a video on it. I'm a big fan. It recently listed on Coinbase, so it got some visibility. This is an ecosystem token for an idea that might have gotten here too early, but is by no means going away. I see a lot of good things for it in the future, and it is a... Uh, you know what? It's a potential long-term wallet token for me. I, I'm seriously considering this one. Polymath is bridging the gap between DeFi and legacy financial systems by enabling digital securities to be traded in the crypto world. We might live in a bit of a bubble here in the crypto space, but that doesn't mean that the legacy world is gone. And let's be honest, most of the money lives out there. Polymath is not directly creating the securities or dealing with the compliance issues. The SEC is not going to be breathing down their necks. It is up to the seller to ensure that their product is compliant with all necessary rules and regulations. Polymath is just the gateway from the legacy world to the DeFi world. They are the brokerage. But anything that gets more Legacy capital coming into the crypto space is just a good thing for the health and well-being of the crypto space as a whole, as well as the health and well-being of your wallets. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is just a few more things you can do while you are waiting for AMP to take off. It is still a very long road. And while I am a big fan of DCA and AMP more and more, there is nothing saying that you have to do it with your own capital. Broaden your mind and take advantage of the world of opportunities that are right in front of you. Now, we try to save this smart trading, uh, this more or less for the members area. Publicly, it's clear we are an AMP channel. But AMP is just one small bit of the crypto world. And if there is one thing I want to get across... It's that there are great long-term holdings, and you should leave them be, but grow them with other people's money, and they are serving it up for you right now. Everyone is a great trader when they luck out on a coin. No idea why they are in it. They just like the name or something. But the successful ones can earn in bulls or bears, and they don't luck out. They grind it out. Start grinding, and these are great ones to do some diligence in. Read up on them. See if you like what you see. See if you see what I see. You know what? If so, that's just that's great, and you're welcome. If not, tell me what I'm missing. Tell me what I don't see. Thousands of eyes are always better than two. I'm a big fan of teamwork. Live stream on Thursdays and member stream on Saturdays, 1900 Central. Cheers.